Hey everyone, I know most viewers would be aghast with what I'll be saying in this video. Regardless of who you think I'm talking against, I'd like you to judge it. Should I bother pandering your fancy or teach the unadulterated word of God? Be the judge. Christians today are fond of decreeing and declaring. And instead of Christians bringing their petitions to God, they rather decree and declare everything. This is like expurgating 1 John 5, 14 to 15 and also James 4 away from the Bible. Lots of charismatic pastors goes around decreeing and declaring or supping the role of God. The Bible doesn't teach decreeing and declaring at all. Let us look at some verses they use. There ain't no way, Mr. Devil, you can break me loose from it. I say I'm healed. If, 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 on my deathbed, I'll say, praise God, Jesus bore my sickness and bore my disease. Hallelujah. And I'm healed. I increase in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and with men. My image appeared in dreams, visions, conversations of my helpers, hope and abroad, hope and abroad. High people in high places are talking about me. I am recording. The very first verse they use is found in Proverbs 18.21 which says death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat the fruit thereof. This verse is not talking about decreeing and declaring. Let us look at Proverbs 18 verse 6. It says a fool's lips enter into contention and his mouth calls for blows. Verse 7, a fool's mouth eases destruction and his lips are the snare of his soul. These are not talking about decreeing and declaring. This verse is talking about how you can be so thoughtless and how you can ignorantly use your words carelessly. This verse is not talking about decreeing and decreeing. And there are a lot of other proverbs that talks about the careless use of your tongue. Proverbs 13 verse 2 also says, A man shall eat well by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of the faithful feeds on violence. Verse 3 says, He who guards his mouth preserves his life, but he who opens wide his lips shall have destruction. This is referring to the fact that you can thoughtlessly, carelessly use your mouth, speak ill, speak stupidly, and yet it will come for you as destruction and not decreeing or declaring. This thought is also talked about elsewhere in 1 Peter 3 verse 10 that says that he who would love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. These are just verses to tell you that these are not talking about decreeing and declaring, but they are verses talking about how to judiciously and sensibly use your tongue, how to be kind with words, how to be empathetic and also how to be loving with your words it is not about decreeing and declaring another verse they use is found in romans 4 verse 16 and 17. let us read it it says therefore if it is of faith that it might be according to grace so that the promise might be sure to all the seed not only to those who are of the law but also to those who are of the faith of abraham who is the father of us all as it is written in this verse 17 now, I have made you a father of many nations in the presence of him who he believed, God, who gives life to death and calls those things which do not exist as though they did. Some people for some strange reasons think we can call things that be not as if they were. But a simple cursory reading of those verses evinces that only God can call dead things into being. The Bible strongly condemns those who decree and declare. It is called evil, boastful, and ungodly. In fact, there are verses in the Bible that refutes decreeing and declaring. One of the verses is in James 4 verse 13, 14, and 15. 
It reads, come now, you who say today or tomorrow will go to search and search a city, spend the year there, buy and sell and make a profit. Verse 14, whereas you do not know what will happen tomorrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. Verse 15 says, instead of you to say, if the Lord wills, we shall live and do this or that. But now you boast in your arrogance, all such boasting is evil when you start to command when you start to decree and declare you're rich you're blessed your days you're dead the bible when you read it says it is a um, an arrogance it is an evil boasting all such boasting is evil are you going to be following pastors that decree and declare you're going to rigidly be rigidic and stick to the bible stick to the word of god instead of following all this prophets that decree and declare boastfully another bible verse that discounts decreeing and declaring teaching is found in first john 5 verse 14 and 15 it says now this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will he hears us and if we know that he hears us whatever we ask we know that we have the petition that we have asked of him whatever god wills it is not about you Jesus even teaching us how to pray says, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It is God's will to make his purposes come to pass. Our faith is subjected to God's will. Whatever you think you can do is, is just subjected. It is subjective to God's will. All things are possible to God. All things are possible with God because he is sovereign we can only align ourselves by faith to his sovereign will he says that and we know that if he hears us whatever we ask we know that we have the petitions that we have asked of him as verse 14 the proud vice says that now this is the confidence that we have in him that whatever we ask anything according to his will it is not according to your will it is according to will because god is the one who is who was and forever shall be the same yesterday today and forever this video isn't him that disrespecting disregarding or downplaying the ministry of anyone this is an unrepentant and unapologetic channel and video aimed at rediscovering through bible christianity by redirecting christians to the bible after all the bible is one of the emblem of our faith